A Swift Kick in the Ass, episode 125. Life is challenging and difficult. No one gets out alive. Time to suck it up, buttercup. Get ready for a monster-sized boot. Aim to help you get traction on personal change and get living. I am John Curran, your host. Join me as I share my journey exploring the forces that motivate us to change and help us get through whatever life throws at us. A swift kick in the ass. Life on your terms. Welcome to another episode of A Swift Kick in the Ass. This is your host, John Curran, and today's episode, we talk about our feet pl- being planted solidly on the ground. So, this podcast is really about disrupting conventional thought. And today I want to disrupt your thought about, and really bring you back to earth. You know, we can talk deeply about um, who we are and why we are the way we are and what we want out of life and, you know, all these woulda, coulda, shoulda beens. But what does that really accomplish? You know, because of gravity, our feet are solidly planted on the ground. Whether we like that or not, our here and now involves our feet being planted solidly on the ground. You know, we can lift them. We can walk, hopefully. Uh, Hopefully we can move. Um, And I think we lose sight of that fact. So... You know, picture yourself, you're just standing there, right? But you're drowning. You know, your your feet are on the ground. Your current situation is that you're you're hardly keeping your um your head above water. That's a problem. What do you do? It's very simple. You move to higher ground. You get your head above water safely so you're not drowning. You know, conceptually, that's really easy, you know, to think about. Oh, okay, um, my feet are on the ground, but I can't breathe. I'm drowning. So what do you do? You try to get... You try to move. You try to get out. You try to get to higher ground so that you can breathe. So how do we do that in real life? You know, um, knowing our ourself is really key. uh, And the better that we know ourselves, the better we know the terms of our own life. And the better we know those terms, you know, if we know the ins and outs of our terms then we know what we can possibly change. And we also know what we can't change. And we don't spend time trying to change things that we can't change. That's key. We have to let go of what we can't change. Um, You know, like we probably can't, like uh, going back to the analogy about, you know, the drowning person, you know, uh, the person that's struggling to breathe. But, their feet, is, uh, their feet are planted solidly on the ground. That is their situation. That's par- part of their here and now. They're, they know that they're standing. They know that their feet are on the ground. So they know that their feet are touching. That's important to know. Okay, then the second question is, oh, okay, can I, can I move? Can I lift up my foot? What can I do? to maybe take a step up. Is there something around? 
you know? And so, you know, you start looking, you know, you start kind of feeling your way. Um, this, you know, is just what we have to do to assess our situation, to understand it, to know what the right move is. So I've laid out, I have an idea. It's very simple and it's going to help you lay out a plan. Um, to change your life. And that is the actual acronym plan. It's very easy to remember. So let me walk you through what plan means. So when you um, have a problem, that's the P. You know, what is the problem? Um, things aren't a problem unless we make them a problem. So what is this problem that you have? Why are you taking it on? And um, that leads us to the second part, which is the L. And that's to learn. You need to learn what this problem is. Um, really know what the ins and outs of it. Um, you know, is this something that you could just simply live through? Um, but what are your options? You know, learn learn what the problem is, learn what your options are. Don't just think about what you can't do. Think about what you can do. Um, it doesn't matter if you won't do it or you, you, know, you don't think you're going to. It's just you need to lay out your options and think about it to, to think about the different scenarios um, so you can make a proper decision. Just because you won't do something doesn't mean it's not an option. It's an option that you choose not to do. You still have an option. So that leads us to the A part. And the A part is align. Alignment. So you have this problem. You know about it now because you've learned about it. Now you need to align that problem with your reality. So... Perception is everything. And, you know, if it's not a problem, we're not going to think of it as a problem. Maybe it's not even on our radar. But problems are typically on our radar because we see it as a problem. We define it as a problem. Um, and that's where the ne that next step is. We're learning about it. You know, you might think you have a problem and then as you're going through this learning process you realize you know what this really isn't such a problem it's really an opportunity to do something better um you know in my case right now i'm having to possibly look for another job and <clears throat> that is really scary so that's a problem that i have I've been working for corporate America for over 20 years and looks like my job will probably be eliminated again. So that's a problem, right? That's something that I'm facing. My feet are firmly on the ground. It's not something I need to move uh, on right away. It's probably three or four or five months out, but you know, I want to be strategic about this. Um, so I'm learning about it. And I'm going to have to learn and live and learn to see what some of these options are. So right now I'm in process of aligning um, my, you know, what I think in my head with the reality. Um, and I'm also in the process of um, creating some goals and figuring out like some metrics. Um, now, that sounds kind of boring, and you're probably scratching your head, like, thinking, what is John talking about? Basically, I want, just want to define my goal so that I know, you know, that I'm there, that I've reached whatever I'm trying to accomplish. That's the end part of the plan. That's to know, basically, that what you're doing is having some impact, uh, which takes you back to the P, you know, this is still a problem. If so, learn more about it. Try to align 
you know, what's in your head with the reality of it. And then know and take action. Um, know that what you're doing to, to get yourself above ground, you know, to, to get to higher ground is working. It's, um, it's a real simple concept. It's much more difficult in uh, practice. But in order to make this easier, if you have a problem and you need to solve it, then every step you take, and when I say step, I mean decisions that you have to make um, that will come up, ask yourself a simple question. Does this help me solve my problem? Or does it contribute to the problem? Does it add to it? Or maybe it's neutral. Maybe it doesn't, doesn't matter, doesn't, doesn't factor into the problem at all. It's good to ask those questions. Um, because once you do... You know, if you recognize that you're trying to solve a problem, but that the decisions that you're making are contributing to that problem, then maybe you need to redefine your problem. Maybe the problem is that uh, you're trying to solve for something that uh, you really don't want to solve for. You have a conflict. Um, this happens, I think, when... Uh, we have a belief system and I'm not a psychiatrist or anything like that. This is just, this is just me talking. But, uh, the way I think about it is that, you know, what we value, what we believe is what we think we should do. Uh, what we think is right or wrong. Um, it's what we should do or what we think we should do is often, you know, ba it's based on our experience and how we're raised and how we see the world. But it's not necessarily the right view. Um, and w we might have some conflict in how we are raised and how we uh, are actually living our life. You know, I think the way what our parents um, impressed upon us as children uh, we carry on to adulthood and sometimes we strive to try to, I don't know, uh, make that, you know, make that view or that perception true reality, but maybe it's not reachable. And, uh, you know, I think there were some things in my life that, you know, I held on to because my dad wanted it, but it's not something I really wanted. And you know what? Um, I had to let that go. I had to be my own person and to say, you know what? This might not jive with what my dad uh, thought of the world. But for me, it's the right thing to do and it's who I am. And you know what? If it doesn't jive, so be it. Because my dad, unfortunately, you know, my dad is gone. I am here. In the here and now, my feet are planted socially, I bet socially, my feet are planted solidly on the ground, and I know who I am. I know what I want out of life, and I know what I need to do to get myself to higher ground, and I am going to do everything possible to do what's right for me and my family. So if that involves kicking a few asses, if, if that involves changing my life, um, I'm going to do it. And I hope this motivates you to take on the problems in your life and start kicking their ass and create some positive change so that you live a better life on your terms. So that's it for now. This is John Curran, your host. This is a swift kick in the ass, your podcast. Until next time, peace.
This marks the end of another episode of A Swift Kick in the Ass, placing it directly in the can. As much as I like to talk, even I have my limits, it's time to go. Catch me on the next show. For better or worse, whether you like us or not, please leave comments wherever you get your podcasts. Follow us on Twitter. Visit our home on the interweb. I think you can leave me a voicemail there. You can also email me at john at a swift kick in the ass.com. It's been my extreme pleasure. I hope you got a lot out of it. I hope you got your ass moving. Until then, until the next time, I'm out of here. Peace.